On May 6, 2009, the Department of Homeland Security and the Office of the Commissioner of Customs proposed ratification of rulings letters to the treatment relating to the admissibility of certain knives with spring-assisted opening mechanisms. Section 19 CRF Part 177. The U.S. Customs and Border Protection, which is a Department of the Homeland Security, is going to ratify the U.S. Switchblade Act of 1958. The proposed ratification will deem all assisted opening knives as switchblades and also all one-handed opening knives as switchblades, therefore making most of our pocket knives today in America illegal. Comments on this ratification must be received before June 21st, 2009. Written comments are to be addressed to U.S. Customs and Border Protection, Office of International Trade Regulations and Rulings, Attention Intellectual Property and Restricted Merchandise Branch, Mint Annex 799 9th Street, Northwest Washington, D.C. 20229. Submitted comments may be inspected at U.S. Customs and Border Protection 799 9th Street, Northwest Washington, D.C. During regular business hours, arrangements to inspect submitted comments should be made in advance by calling Joseph Clark at the Trade and Commercial Regulations Branch at 202 Three two five zero zero eight nine. For further information, contact Andrew M. Langrick at Intellectual Property and Restricted Merchandise Branch at two zero two three two five zero zero eight nine. This is absolutely no joke, people. So it's time to act. Please visit KnifeRights.org and also AKTI.org for help in these matters. And if you have a hard time believing me at AssistedKnife.com, then hopefully you'll listen to the spokesperson for AKTI.org. Hello, I'm David Kowalski, the Communication Coordinator for the American Knife and Tool Institute. We've been in the business for the last 12 years of trying to protect your knife rights and the knife rights of the entire sporting knife industry. I want to tell you today about something that's going to change your life if we don't do something about it, we being you and I and all members of the sporting knife industry, anyone who owns a knife. Let me tell you flat out, you are in jeopardy. The U.S. Customs Service, which is the only federal agency that's responsible for enforcing the Federal Switchblade Act, has decided as of May 21st that they're going to revoke permission to those companies who have imported assisted opening knives. You may be asking, why does that matter to me? I'm a knife collector. I only have a small one-hand opening knife. Maybe I only ha even have a hunting knife or a camping knife for the occasional you know, outdoor outing. Maybe I'm an EMT that has a knife that I use on the job. What does this all mean to me? The reality is that if a knife is banned from coming into the country, then customs, in effect, says, now this is within our definitions. It's now illegal to use or, or transport this knife across state lines. So if you live in a state, for example, where an assisted opener or a switchblade is legal, uh, you cannot go into another state with that assisted opener because now you've, you've, you've transported a switchblade knife across state lines, you're in violation of federal law. What if you don't own just an assisted opener knife? What if you have a one-hand opener? What if you have an old Boy Scout knife? The, the reality here under the new proposed definitions is that Customs is proposing to so broadly redefine what a knife is and what a switchblade knife is that virtually every folding knife is going to be labeled a switchblade knife. Therefore, whatever folding knife you have in your pocket, if this goes through, is going to be a switchblade in their view. Now the reason I say that is because if you read their very lengthy revocation document, it is full of brand new definitions that mix the whole knife world together. Uh, it's like an alphabet soup of, of legal definitions. Switchblade knife, historically, is a knife that is um, 
uh, opened by a button on the handle. But the new language talks about inertia, <clears throat> talks about gravity, it talks about uh, opening the blade part way and then flipping it open uh, using, in effect, stored inertia. There is language in here that, that basically encompasses every other kind of definition of every other knife that we're aware of. And if we roll that all together, and now we call all this new language a modified switchblade statute, everybody's in jeopardy. The sporting knife industry, uh, through the American Knife and Tool Institute, is putting together a very strong and dramatic action plan here. But you as an individual are going to have to be part of that action plan. We're going to put together for you, the knife owner of any kind of knife, some model letters, some recommended language, some deadlines by which to write or email your letter, and we're going to tell you where to send that letter so that we make it easy for you to register the fact that you are one of potentially 100 million knife owners in this country and you're concerned about these new rules. You don't want to lose your knife. You don't want to be labeled a criminal. You don't want to have to hire a defense attorney to the tune of thousands of dollars. You don't want to have a blemish on your record. Uh, you don't want to spend time in prison potentially. You don't want to have to explain to your friends and neighbors that you're not a criminal. But all of this could happen if this new ruling is put in place if we don't fight it. The way that we want you to get involved in this is go to our website, which is www.akti.org, and right there on the home page, you're going to see a box that says, Become a Grassroots Supporter. It's a free program. You go in there, you give us your name and email address, and you're on our hot list. That's where we're going to communicate with you. You're gonna, we're going to tell you what to do, how to do it. We're going to give you the tools to do it. And all we're going to do is ask you to take some action. Don't sit back. Don't wait for the next person to do it. This is your knife. This is our chance to fix something that, if, is, if it is not stopped, will not stop. Everything that happens from this revocation or this proposed revocation will flow downhill. Um, you may only be left with being able to hide your collection in your closet if we don't do something about this. And I'm not given to hyperbole or exaggeration. I am not exaggerating, ladies and gentlemen. This is that important. Your involvement is that important. You will not get a second chance on this. The, the sporting knife industry will not get a second chance on this. So please, become a grassroots supporter. Help us to help you. Thank you very much.